Franco. Welcome back to another episode of Two Dads in a Pod. Um, what's on your mind today, Miguel? You want to know what grinds my gears? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it always seems that we always have something good yeah. going on, and then yeah. we get te- technical difficulties. Yeah. So if you see like a choppy version, <laughs> it's because something happened here. But... Did they change shirts? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Uh, full disclosure, full transparency. Yeah, we ha- we're having technical difficulties. Long story short, one of re- one of the two cameras was like frozen while yeah. we were talking. So I was so like, one was very seriously looking at the other while the other person was laughing his ass off. Okay, oh yeah, like that. <laughs> no, you look like concerned. You're like, <laughs> it was probably when I started telling the story about Sophia. What if it was like a cardboard cutout of me and a concern? Yeah, <laughs> it'd be fun to have. Anyway, yeah. So you. So, so I was telling a story, and I'll start from the beginning. Yeah, a couple nights ago, um, I was changing Sophia's diaper, and she was playing around. And when I went to grab her by the arms and pick her up, I'm not talking about like shoulders. I'm talking about actual wrists. Oh, you just yeah, yeah pick her like up that. like that, and she went dead body on me. You know, <laughs> <laughs> she likes to make it difficult, right? <clears throat> And I'm like, I guess part of it is my fault because I do play around with her while I'm trying to change her diaper. I'm like, all right. And then after she like put her, I put her down. And I'm like, breathe, and she breathes with me mm-hmm. to kind of calm her down. So it's my fault. I get her riled up and then bring her down. So I went to go pull her up, and then when I sat her down, she like did this weird like buckle with her shoulder, and yeah. I was like, what? Are you okay? Is everything? Okay? She starts crying, and usually when I like rough up too hard whatever she does cry a little bit but then like, yeah. i pick her up and she's fine but i noticed like she wasn't like lifting her left arm at all like, mm-hmm. she was just like ah and she was like continue <laughs> crying yeah and i'm like ah shit and i'm like babe i was like oh she's probably fine she's probably just messing around in my head i'm like it's different it feels different yeah and uh so we went to like go give her like a, a little gummy vitamin because mm-hmm. she likes those and she just went and start crying again. And I'm like, yeah, we're going to yeah, take her somewhere. Yeah. So we ended up taking her to the emergency room. And if you... So I guess it's a first <coughs> time parent thing, but it feels like everybody talks down to us when we walk into any kind of clinic. Oh, it must be... Everybody has their opinion on what it might be. Until I talk to the, until I talk to the doctor, I don't need to know who, who thinks what. Right, you know? right. And the receptionist? The receptionist was like... <laughs> Oh, it's probably like a nurse's elbow, da da da, and blah blah. blah. And if I wasn't busy looking for like her social security mm-hmm. number on my phone, like I would have been like, "Oh, you're, oh, you're the doctor. You're, the, <laughs> you're the doctor." I didn't know it was that quick of a service. <laughs> Can you imagine if I was like, doing that in the lobby? Okay, <laughs> making a scene. <laughs> Just start making a scene. So I can't, uh, yeah. It's like, are you so, a, are you filming a comedy right now? What's going? Yeah. On? So Crystal took care of that. I was freaking out the entire yeah. time. You know. How, what about Crystal? She seemed fine. Um, okay. Obviously, she was worried. But when we were getting ready to leave, and Sophia was like on my shoulder, and she's mm-hmm. like, you know, like sniffling, and you know, she just got done crying, and she was probably gonna cry more and put her in the cart because just maneuvering. Yeah, her yeah. As a bitch. And. Uh, Maneuvering her as a bitch, not she's a bitch. <laughs> just want to make that clear. Sometimes I don't speak cl- clearly. I know I, I play back these. Yeah. I play back every episode every yeah. time. I'm like, that one didn't sound. Good. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? Yeah, what did I say? <laughs> um, um, yeah. Anyway, continue. So as we were getting ready, um, one it's one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> oh, again, our fault. We stay up that late. <laughs> just, <laughs> just one of those nights. You know, many, many, many ingredients to this to this tragedy. One of those nights. Um. And I was like, getting, like, I was so worried, and I was getting teary eyed and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And then, like, Crystal, so you're legitimate. I was, like, I was scared. I was fucked up, you know. Okay, yeah. And uh, Crystal kept trying to point out, "Are you, are you crying?" <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh no, babe, it's okay. I'm like, it's not gonna make it better." And I was like, yeah, no, no. <laughs> "No, don't, 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 <laughs> don't tell me what to do." <laughs> and you're like, "Don't mm. touch me." <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, but I was, I just. You know, Miguel, tell, you know, just stay calm until you get there. Then, you know, the nurse. Well, it must have been worse me. because it was in your head. You're like, it's you that caused it, right? Yeah. 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 It's dad. It's dad, you. Dad, you caused dad it. Dad is the one who's supposed you to. You literally like, just no. hurt your baby girls. What's going on in your yeah. mind? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so we get there. Nurse starts talking shit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, she really talked <laughs> no, shit? Okay. No, she was <laughs> He wasn't talking shit. Oh, okay. oh sorry. <laughs> but he was he was telling us like, what it could be, and yeah. I'm like, I didn't ask for his opinion, to be honest, but hey, I get it. Mm-hmm. One o'clock in the morning, he feels like he needs to talk. Um, we finally go to see the doctor, and the entire time, the doctor, is there, Sophia just has a terrible, she has terrible experience um, with doctors and nurses, pretty much anybody in like the the uniform. What's it called? The scrubs. Scrubs, yeah. Because she's been picked and prod, you know, like poked and prodded. Poked and prodded. Since, like yeah. she she was born with jaundice, so like she blood was t- you know tested and all that stuff. At least for the first like. And that's when their skin is yellow, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, um, what's it called? <laughs> the entire time the doctor's trying to talk to us, she's crying. And then, like, I'm over here, like, nodding my head. I'm like, okay. I'm like, so, yeah, I have to, you know, nurse's elbow. And I'm like, all right, I guess the freaking reception was right. Um, you almost talked shit to me, too. I almost. Mm, <laughs> 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 so, you were at the front desk. <laughs> almost. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but the entire time he was like, she was crying because obviously this guy was there with the mask and scrubs and stuff like that. And he goes, she's a cute kid. She's a cute. Oh, you're such a cutie. And like just ignoring the fact that she was crying. I don't know if it's just like a doctor thing or like that's, you know, they know if they react to it, it's going to make it worse or something. Yeah, I'm There's sure. There's a point it's... where like he patted her on the head while she was like freaking fr- freaking out. I'm sure like. If he was freaking out, it's going to freak everybody out. Like, oh, probably. you guys. So That's why he was like, yeah, looking so at me. He's like, she's cute, man. She's real cute. Almost like a De Niro face right there. Yeah. You know? You know? No. Very cute kid. Do you guys take a taxi here? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Horrible impressions. I just do the face. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we're going to freeze frame that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, De Niro face. You know what's funny? <laughs> what's up? I work at a movie theater. Yeah. And we wear masks, and we tell customers to wear masks. Mm-hmm. And apparently, in North County, it's like one of the toughest areas for people to wear masks because yeah. reasons for ra- yeah. for many many reasons. So we kindly ask people to constantly, you know, constantly wear mm-hmm. masks. So I'm exhausted by the end of the shift, any shift, right? Because right. I'm telling co- people, please wear masks. Please, there's two signs before you come into the t- lobby, and then we still get the oh, I don't have one. Well, we have some for you. You know, we yeah. Have when we went to the emergency room, we had our own mask, you know, uh, cloth masks, right? We get in there. It's like, oh, yeah. And for for a split second, I was treated like, like a customer. Like from the other customer. side of the coin. The other side. Of yeah. Oh, yeah. Can we have you wear the, these oh, masks? Shit. <laughs> I looked at Crystal. She seemed annoyed. And I was like, may I ask why? It's like, oh, just while you're in the hospital. Uh, you have to wear surgical masks. Yeah, you know, and I'm like, okay. So I took mine off, put the little smaller flimsy one on. It's smaller, so it's gonna be like, how is this gonna work better? It's and cleaner. then, and then in my head, I'm like, Miguel, don't be, don't be your customer, <laughs> don't be your customer. See what it feels. Don't like. be your customer. And the surprising thing is, like, they also, they had one for Sophia too, the small one, mm-hmm. and she she wears it like a champ. Which, by the way. If a two-year-old <laughs> can fucking wear a mask, <laughs> I'm very passionate a little bit about this. It's not that I'm like <laughs> vaccine pro or anti-vax or yeah. anything like that, but like during like a pandemic when everything's going on, <clears throat> and a simple wearing a mask threatens your rights, we have other issues that we need to talk about, which in the near in the future episodes we'll definitely do. where's that We're, jar that we we're talking about fuck, dude. <laughs> oh man anyway whenever we get there. <laughs> yeah so they told us it's like a nurse's elbow for sophia yeah. he did a couple like exercises obviously she cried even more because she's being touched and then like literally two minutes later we handed her uh yeah i can't remember what we handed her but she just oh she reached in yeah, and it was fine oh. her shoulder was fine I'm like, all right. So now my my mind went from like freaking out mm-hmm. to, to to like a split second calm, like all right, she's fine, to what the fuck is gonna charge us? That oh yeah, it's an ER room. visit, man. Yeah, so we give them the insurance and everything, but obviously we don't know what's gonna be charged mm-hmm. until it comes in the mail. So <laughs> I swear to God, if it says receptionist advice on their charge. <laughs> 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 Do 
did I ask for it? I'm <laughs> in the get, wrong business. <laughs> yeah. And, I, and that's the one thing that, like, I I didn't really factor it in, what mm. we're going to be charged or anything. Cause and then honestly, after you, until cause after you calmed down? Until after I, after I calmed down, then I started thinking about it. I was like, damn. You know. I should have Googled it. But in the moment, it's like, into you your, know, you turned uh, into your parents at that point. <laughs> hey, mom. Yeah. Did this ever happen when I was a kid? <laughs> I don't think they would have even known of nurse's el- What is it? Nurse's arm? Nurse's elbow? I feel like we're making shit up as we go. And every after every one generation after another, because something new happens. Yeah. Because as humans, we evolve, right? Of course. You know? There was a... How was it called? There is a skit that Louis C.K. does. He, uh... He's on an airplane. Mm-hmm. Oops. Nobody knew they had a Wi-Fi option. Wi-Fi, right? And then before the flight started to take off, the uh, stewardess comes up. Oh, the flight attendant, sorry. <laughs> the flight attendant comes up. He's like, I'm sorry uh, for the duration of this flight. It's like a 20-minute flight, something, mm-hmm. like that, something short distance. Uh, the Wi-Fi is down. It won't be unavailable. And the guy sitting next to him goes, that's fucking bullshit. Mm-hmm. He didn't know that was an option to begin with, right? Oh, to him. So as we yeah. so as we get older and like generation after generation, there's things, new services and stuff like that that we don't realize, you know, we needed before. Yeah. And then all of a sudden something happens. What? So, I mean, like a cell phone doesn't send a text fast enough or call or well, you know. I mean, it's like when my kids complain about the like the Wi-Fi being down or like it's this took too long to load. I'm like, oh, you're yeah. complaining about yeah, loading times. Yeah, you you know you realize how long I had to wait for a PlayStation PlayStation game to like load up every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> uh, man, going back on those va- mass things though, I mean, I, I yeah, I mean my my little ones can wear them. <laughs> Probably a lot better than a lot of people can. A lot of adults can. Yeah. My youngest one, she still uses a pacifier, and she will elect to have the, <clears throat> excuse me, the mask over her pacifier. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, that's now that is uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, can you breathe? I'm like, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, are you okay? Oh man, I I don't really want to get into it too much, but yeah. We, God. I mean, if a two year old can wear it, and yeah. you know. I know. Just wear gonna... it over your nose, not yeah. under your chin, not over your eyes. It's not that big of a deal. You just go in, right. go you're out, and then you're done. But, you know, whatever. Ah, sorry. Actually, no, not sorry. We're going to lose like two viewers over that <laughs> conversation. <laughs> out of our ten. I was, like, I was liking them until he mentioned the mask. <clears throat> Rights <laughs> threatened. Well, hey, who knows? That might, bad publicity can give us, you know, good stuff or whatever. Yeah, any, any, any kind of publicity, publicity yeah. is good publicity. At this point, yeah. Like, subscribe. No. <laughs> like and subscribe. You want to talk shit more? <laughs> talk shit. Yeah, there you yeah. go. I don't know how the YouTubers do that. Every, every once in a while, I was like, oh, please like and subscribe for, you know, for See, the See, I feel like they, they probably do a lot more editing than we do. Oh yeah, you know, and there's like they probably have like a blooper reel for all we know. They're, all their ums and empty spaces, yeah. they're you can you tell it's, it's cut it's out. Chopped up, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll admit sometimes I'll, I'll be at work practicing what I'm about to say just yeah. in case it gets there. Yeah, and, but that just might be my OCD. I don't know. I sometimes feel like it's like an. Like, I like to go, I like to go with the flow. No, there's there's older uh, podcast episodes I've done. Yeah, and and I listen to them every once in a while. And there's a um like I lose my train of thought so much <laughs> I hate it so like yeah a lot of empty spaces too, and there was one where like somebody kept using like a lot, like that might have been me like <laughs> maybe and but, everybody does it I do it no the first but time once I, you notice it yeah the first time I w- I was doing these with you I realized that like what I actually I'm <laughs> yeah yeah once you notice it you once do you it notice often. it now then yeah. I've tried to like. And kind of fix my speech just in life because I'm see I'm better yeah. again. But yeah, anyway. It would be funny if we had some sort of machine that like you know gave us a some counter. sort of like oh, shock. electrical shock okay. when we say like. I wonder if that would make us stop saying like. We should have a like counter at the bottom left corner of each YouTube episode. <laughs> yeah, for every like you hear, please like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> um I don't know if they, yeah, they can see me now. This yeah. thing is like 11 seconds, so it's not, every time I look over and I see that it's on your face, I'm like, I oh, know that was the point. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> I'm like, I don't know how we can fix that, but I'm sure we will. And of course, well, we, we wouldn't need like a third person 
to like literally oh, manually monitor switch it? as yeah. whoever's talking or That's like true. you know or so have sit it in the corner here just yeah. have like they literally have the yeah. ipad over here yeah or i physically do it but then like I'll, i'd be distracted there i know there has to be some sort of software for that like if the camera sees you talking it'll automatically switch it over to that there must be however, we just haven't looked into it too much however I think, right? I think from what i understand it's like a lot of those options are like also individual audio based so if it he, oh. if it starts picking you up on the on the microphone it switches over to that one you know right. like oh, one of those switcher things i don't know i'm pretty sure once we down the road we'll probably yeah once we have our own like you know studio three story building yeah okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're like radio jockeys yeah and we shit. have our logo out in the front <laughs> you know now in uh, session yeah exactly and like and then people are like what are what do still peas in there and <laughs> like, <laughs> kind of, yeah. like, <laughs> so there's another p anderson's in a pod huh, huh. do we sell peas <laughs> that'd be funny if we actually sold peas in the lobby <laughs> some marketing Would you like for complimentary you? peas. <laughs> Would you like some peas? Anyway, do you eat peas? Do I eat peas? Yeah. I can't say like it's in my regular diet. Where do peas? Where do peas uh, show up? Is this a dad joke? No, no. no it's okay. Not a dad joke. <laughs> where do peas show up? Yeah. You know what? I. I Chicken carbonara, I guess there's peas, uh, which I feel like is the worst part for peas in there. Does uh, fried rice have peas? You know, I don't like fried rice because it has egg. I don't like eggs. This podcast As is over. anybody <laughs> really need to know? <laughs> yeah, I don't like eggs. And no, don't start asking the okay. question, do you like cake? That's the first thing that anybody ever asks me every time I say I don't like eggs. They say, do you like cake? Of course I like cake. At that point, it's not egg anymore. It's batter. It's different. Oh, I wasn't going to ask that. Every time I tell somebody, really? that, that's the first thing they go to. Is, okay, first you... of all, how are they all bakers? <laughs> I, I, I don't think what goes into a cake, I just eat cake, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and we really went random on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine somebody eating cake and they're like, mm, touch of. You used two eggs, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, though? Somebody who's a pro baker, probably with consistency, could probably tell what you probably missed. Yeah. Or, oh, what you, yeah, you that. Um. Anyway, wow, that was a huge tangent. Oh, yeah, Ramble because yeah, 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 yeah. we're dads, right? It happens. Yeah. It's Sophia like, likes things. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny that you talk about your. So, did you figure? Did you guys find out what what it was? Yeah, it was just a little, little like, technically a little dislocated, but just a, okay. The the, the, so, the exercise fixed it. Okay, so. Was it was it you that did it? Oh yeah, no, definitely. Okay, it was you. Okay, no, yeah. Okay, so you yeah. knew that. As soon as it pulled her up and yeah. she went dead weight, and then she didn't want to lift her arm mm-hmm. after that. All me. All right, so you know, you guys leave the hospital. How do you feel now that that's over? But did you? Did they say it was dislocated? Did the doctor say it was? No, it was just they, they called it uh, whatever nurse's elbow was called. How uh, does it? How does? So why? So is, it's I wonder, like elbow. I why it's but, called nurse's elbow? Because I don't know. It's like a little like. So tendon, to, tendon or something. So I'm wondering, yeah. does that normally happen when a baby nurses them? Like, is that what called nurses elbow? Because, I mean, did they ask you, like, know. what happened? And then oh, you were yeah. like... Oh, yeah. And I should... He, he grabbed my arms for something. Like, he grabbed my, <laughs> he grabbed my wrist. Like, did, you, did you pick her up like that? I'm like, oh, God. Like, <laughs> you're, you're like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the entire time when I say arms, people think, like, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Mm-hmm. And I'm like... No, when I arms obviously arms. So you do. Arm, see, that's wrist, what I, that's what know? I assumed. I was like, yeah. as soon as you said arm, I'm but like, I, oh, he didn't like, get even her the under doctor the was like, oh, where? Like on the shoulder? Like no, arm. Like, uh, like uh, you literally like pulled her up. Like, you're, just, I, you're just messing. Am with I her. not speaking English here? Yeah. Yeah. So Let me go talk to the front desk nurse. Maybe he'd re- you know understand. <laughs> Since <laughs> he's trying to give you all the advice. <laughs> so yeah. all right, so you're, you're going home and also, how do you feel about yourself? Like, how does that? How did it make you feel? Shit. Okay. Like shit. Like yeah, I feel like. Can't do anything right. <laughs> I'm not meant to be a father. Like those thoughts were no, going no, through I my head. Yeah, and it sucks because like, um, it's not like I'm trying to make myself feel bad. It's just like I can't. Sh- I wasn't. I wasn't able to shake it like all day yesterday because mm-hmm. it did happen the night before last night. Oh, oh really? Okay, yeah. so it's so recent. Two recent. nights ago. Yeah. So all day yesterday, I just I couldn't shake it. So when I got home yesterday, I like kept my distance a little bit from oh, Sophia. Shit, yeah. I was like, I don't want to f- fuck with her, you know, right now. Mm-hmm. Like, she's going to cry or something. I don't mm-hmm. know. Like, 
holds grudges, you know. <laughs> yeah. she, and it starts. <laughs> she is her mother's. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Totally kidding. Totally kidding. Totally kidding. I mean, is your wife? Does your wife watch this? I don't know. This could be a good test. You'll know. You'll no, know. You'll know if, if I'm like sleeping in the car. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> That'll be an episode to talk about. Where's yeah. that jar that we need? Two, two weeks from now. <laughs> So how's everything going, man? Mm. You know, it's kind of getting cold outside. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Just saying. Yeah, just saying. It's cold um. outside. Make sure you have a heater. So I, I, blanket. <laughs> so I ask you how you felt and all that stuff because I, too, have a, have a, like, a similar experience. You threw with, a baby across the room. No. Okay. I mean, that's intentional, but no. Sometimes you want to. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, sometimes you're better off not, you know. <laughs> <laughs> So help me, Jesus. Intrusive thoughts. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, I asked that because when Lexi was three months old, uh-huh. new dad here, you know, at that time, and you dropped her. Oh yeah, 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 I dropped her. Yeah, but you know, it, it was a specific way I dropped her too. It wasn't yeah. like I picked her up and then all of a sudden, oops. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, she was three months old, and me and uh, her mom were laying in bed because it was nighttime, and um. I had her, I had Lexi on my chest, yeah. like laying, you know, she was on, she was, um, oh, I lost my train of thought. She was laying down on yeah. her front. And yeah. so we're just, you know, and, um, man, I, I felt horrible about this, but, uh, I fall asleep because we kind of did that. Like we kind of, we just kind of fall asleep and yeah. just kind of there. And then I specifically remember turning to my left Yeah, and she was on there. So I turn she and falls. she slips and falls <clears throat> off on the bed. Thankfully, we had carpet, yeah. but I mean, she falls and like I mean, you go. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's I the thing. Like, yeah, and I'm just like, Ugh. I heard babies are meant to like take the hits, though. It's weird. It's, like, like, pan- their super, bones are so yeah. s- are pretty soft that they're like, it's they're hard, it's molding hard. almost every day. So it's kind of hard to like. Yeah. They're let me put it this way. I've even heard doctors say this before. They're pretty yeah. durable. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> even even in the womb, you know, there's so much protective layers. Yeah, no, yeah, they're, they're even like because uh, Crystal like kind of tripped one time, she almost fell. Yeah, did she fall on her stomach? No, okay, she almost fell, but she like got a hold of herself, and I like ran around. She was getting out of the car, and like I ran around, like, are you okay? Mm-hmm. You know, so yeah, she's fine. And then we mentioned that to the doctor, and he goes, oh no, like, even yeah, if you like, even if you fall like all the way like you know down. Yeah, like, like baby's fine. Mom will be hurt, but Mom not will, baby. You know, yeah, dad's feelings will be hurt. You know, <laughs> worst dad ever. You know, <laughs> why can't I just pick her up and walk her around everywhere? Yeah. So, um, <laughs> over the threshold, everywhere you go, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah, and so she cried. Her mom wakes up first, yeah. and she, like, kind of freaked out. Yeah. I woke up, and I kind of freaked out. Had those same... I mean, when I was asking you these questions specifically, I was asking you because, oh, yeah, I remember doing that, something yeah. like that. Oh, yeah, no, freaking out, and I'm like, yeah. oh, my God, I just dropped a baby. Yeah. I'm a horrible father. Yeah. Like, I'm a horrible parent. I shouldn't even be having kids. What the fuck? You yeah. know, how did I gonna let this happen? It's my yeah. baby girl. Yeah. Everything. You know, like you said, just everything is just kind of going through my head. Yeah. And yeah, we were so freaked out. We took her to the ER. I felt horrible the whole time. And uh, front desk was there. No, there was no front desk. All right. Oh, this is. I mean, this is ten years ago. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what's this? What's twenty twenty one? Yeah, it was twenty years ago. No. Ten years ago. I'm sorry. And um, yeah, same thing. The doctor comes in, just kind of checks her out. Like, no, nah, yeah. babies are pretty durable. She's yeah. fine, you know. And asking what happened, I'm like, oh my no. god, I'm gonna tell him what happens and. They're gonna be like, yeah. There's gonna be a cop waiting for you outside to, you know, yeah. take you, take you in, <laughs> take you in, or talk about it, or you know, as, as social services are coming in. We need to just make sure everything's okay. And You're no, not it, beating your child. Yeah, you know, and uh, no, and nothing was like that. Apparently, shit like that happens. Yeah, they, you know, they treat and, and, it so normal. And just, yeah, and and I mean, it's not like kid wasn't bleeding. There was no hemorrhage. And there was nothing. Yeah. And, and, <clears throat> But yeah, no, that was, man, it was like three or four in the morning when that happened. I still remember that. Yeah. And I went through those same feelings. Like after that, I'm like, okay, now we'd be extra careful. No longer are we going to sleep with the kids. Like, I, I, I guess the positive side about this is we actually have feelings for our kids because there's dads out there that just I mean, don't, don't dads, exist. I mean, there's probably dads out there that wasn't like 
around. Cleaning your, yeah, yeah. There you go. Cleaning your, yeah. your baby. That, that you know, wasn't his job, baby. You know? yeah, yeah, exactly. Wasn't sleeping on dad, you know. <laughs> yeah. We're trying to make ourselves feel better here. But, like, <laughs> like let me t- I, I'm, I, I'm a good dad, <laughs> you know. I... I I change the diaper. Like you said, it's first dad syndrome. I don't, I'm sure if I did something like that now with my kids, yeah, I feel like shit. But like if you dropped them, like if I dropped them, yeah. I mean, depending from what height, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two story building yeah, only breaks no, your legs. Yeah. <laughs> God, man. What are you, Batman? <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. It's the piece of advice for any new dads out there or any new parents. So anything like that happens, it's like probably not as bad as you think. It isn't, and you know, as long as it's not something, you know, visibly. And I mean, Miguel, you had a different experience than I did. I mean, yeah, her, it was a little dislocated and stuff, yeah. but like, it's it's you, you'd be surprised, not uncommon. <laughs> I thought you were to go. I was like, you know, you had a little different. You did actually dislocate her. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna be fucked up like that. <laughs> Like, was like, <laughs> no I was towing the line. I knew that. That's why I was like, I careful what you say. No, here. You, you did technically. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike you, she didn't dislocate anything. Yeah. I just dropped no, her. I just bit. dropped her. <laughs> so the, uh, Crystal one day called, like, I think it was uh, during. Uh, so we got, I got very, very lucky. Mm-hmm. It's weird to say during COVID, during the lockdown, we, I got to spend extra time. You know, not not every dad or every, not both parents. Man, you look the at the positives time. about a lot yeah. of things, and you realize you, what you get out of it. Yeah, and um, so we got. I got very lucky because I got to spend more time initially at with, home, right? At yeah. home after she was born and stuff like that. Because she got she was born December twenty nineteen, and like three months in, we got shut down. Right. That's true. Yeah. So I got to spend a lot of time with the kid and. Uh, I know a lot of a lot of couples. Both parents can't be there. Like, there's parent paid leave, whatever, and they get like three, four, five months, mm-hmm. and that's it. And then they get back, get back to work, and then obviously they're doing yeah. their shifts. So I spent, I got, I got <clears> lucky, <throat> and I spent a lot of time. But there was one time when we, where I was at work doing something. I can't remember. I don't. I can't remember. It was like at, during the pandemic, we were trying to do something for the theater to keep it running. And uh, I get a call from Crystal, and she goes. I don't know what happened. She fell. Sophia, being the little shit she is, <laughs> she was she wasn't that old. In three, four months, maybe. Yeah. Was able she so she got put in the, between the two cushions of the couch, like laying face up. Somehow she managed to push herself off the couch. Oh shit! Like literally, like torpedo torpedo herself off the couch. And then Crystal shows up and she's on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> so Crystal obviously had those, you know, similar thoughts. Yeah. Terrible mother, blah, 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 you know, stuff like that. Yeah, left and I'm like, no, it's okay. It's fine. And left and your kid fine. on the couch when everybody, yeah. Yeah. Right. So for me, it was like, it was weird because like, I felt like kids are durable. You know, babies are durable. It's meant to like take hits, whatever. And uh, she fell when she was with her great grandma too. Like mm-hmm. her great grandma left her on the bed and she rolled off <laughs> and she had hard floors. <laughs> so Sophia's taking a couple beatings. <laughs> Social service is going to call us soon. Um, <laughs> Use the wrong word. <laughs> yeah, so when she falls on accident, you know, and I haven't, she hasn't fallen in, on my watch kind of thing. Kind of proud about that. But, but at the same time, why would I be? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Wear a badge on that one, man. <laughs> yeah, these morning mucuses, dude, it's bothering the shit out of me. <laughs> We do these in the mornings, by the way. It's not yeah, like we're having a freaking cup of co- like a cup of uh, scotch or a glass of scotch. At the no, end no, night, no. You know? Maybe one day. It's twelve o'clock somewhere. No, <laughs> <laughs> I would have a really bad pro- drinking problem oh, no, if yeah, we were we, drinking. Yeah, already, yeah, for sure. You know. Yeah, every morning. I mean, actually, not every morning, but you know, yeah, continue. So for it's weird that in my head I register as babies are are okay to take the hits, you know, yeah. drops and stuff like that. Until you do it. Until I did it. Yeah. You know, what the, you know, what, in my head, I'm just like, why am I thinking this, like, negative about well, it's myself? because you now? don't, like, <laughs> you weren't at fault at that time, so, like, yeah, it just, it, it, you take it more personally, right? Yeah. It's like when you watch somebody else and you're just like, eh, don't worry about it, but what happens to you, you're like, okay, this, <laughs> you know, you start freaking out. Yeah. Um, But, yeah, I mean, apparently, the more I talk to people, uh, about this again when, uh, that happened to me when i was like 22. Every, everybody has a story oh yeah everybody has a story yeah. so there's, it, there's it, worse there's really oh, yeah. bad ones yeah you know 
Yeah, like like I bump my out of the car seat okay. onto the concrete kind of thing. Like while the know. car's moving, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't I, I, that would be crazy that but would be like, crazy that's like a 1990s baby because <laughs> back they then they used car seats back then I don't know <laughs> they, I think that's when they were introduced <laughs> 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 man so like when I was younger like I didn't want to talk about it I, I remember I, I never wanted to tell anybody about it because that's yeah. how I was so ashamed it was and then when I finally started like Getting more like, okay, I think I'm ready to talk about it. Turns out, like, almost everybody that I know that has had a kid has had a situation. And yeah. So, like, even even now, 10 years later, it's already, you know, said and done. Hearing your story, I'm like, okay, I don't feel as bad anymore. Yeah. There, you know, it, just, it just helps. There's, uh, there's... It's far more common than people think it is. Yeah. I mean, don't do it on purpose. Well, no. No, you obviously, well, obviously don't do it on purpose. And if you do, stop. Yeah. Um... But you know what? Another, um, sorry to interject here, but an- another piece of advice I always always uh, try giving parents is, um, you know, you you know your kid probably better than anybody else, you know, because you're always watching them, you, your wife, girlfriend, you know, whoever. Um, <clears throat> so when when you really think that there's something wrong with them, it's never wrong to just be like, oh, I'm gonna go check them out or. This seems to be this seems weird. Now I say that because um, I know older parenting style. You know, when we get to like how our parents kind of did a thing, they you know I was raised with the eh they'll grow out of it kind of thing. Oh yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. And uh, yeah. it's very passive, and I mean the positive in it would be that they're just not freaking out all the time. Right. They 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 try to, or they're trying to avoid a hospital bill. So. It's one or the other, yeah. Man, where's that jar? I really need to write something down. <laughs> um, but, but it's one less stress, kind of, for them. To yeah, worry, it's know? it's. Let's put it this way. Like, it's yeah, we grew up fine. Yeah, we grew up fine. Or let's do it this way. It's it's uh uh-huh. that can be tomorrow's problem, yeah. right? You just keep putting it off until you know you you find you find out it's getting worse. Yeah. Uh, not the best so in many, my experience. So many is not sprained th- ankles. Yeah. <laughs> After wearing my soccer cleats on cement, oh God, yeah, so, oh, on cement, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But um, you know, I I found out that it's better to just you know consult a pediatrician anytime you get something. Yeah, and even if you don't, even if some pediatricians are like, no, it's okay. You still see something. It's like keep following up just in case. Yeah. Um, something that I that happened with uh, with Donovan, I'd say about six months ago i think mm-hmm. um he we were on our way home from i think like wendy's or something and he was kind of tired like him in the car still every time he gets in the car he gets like super tired and um he was com- he was whining he was doing his usual like we're going home he was hungry or something i'm like don't worry we're almost home and stuff and he's in his car seat and i think i think i had all the kids or not just two of them but he needs he's in his car seat and he's just kind of slumped over, just kind of like, you know, I think he's just being moody and stuff. He's slumped yeah. over just kind of like this. Yeah. And um, so I'm like turning around just to kind of be like, hey, don't worry about it. Like we're we're, we're going to we're getting we're getting home soon. Yeah. And I turn around. And I look at him. And I kid you not, I was like, why does one of his eyes look like it's going somewhere else? Why does it look like he's looking at me through, like, you know, one eye was going this way, one eye was going that way. And I'm like, no, no, you're, you're just tripping out. It's not. Yeah. And he's just, you know, he's about to fall. He's just tired. He's about to fall asleep. Or he's, you know, whining, complaining. He's just tired like this. And I swear, like, one eye was going this way and one eye was going that way. And I'm like, oh, fuck. What is, what's going on here, right? Yeah. So I kind of, I didn't freak out about it immediately. I kind of want to be like, nah, you're just tripping out. Don't worry about it. And then, like, I noticed that it would keep happening, like, throughout the day and other things. So, I finally just told my wife, I'm like, hey, I think Domin might have a lazy eye. Or or something's going on here, right? And, no. and she was like, oh, I've never seen it happen. Um, thankfully, though, eventually, and here's the thing. Me, like, 10 years ago would be like, eh, it's no big deal. I think he'll grow out of it. But, like, me now, I was like, I... I I was almost kind of like afraid to bring it up yeah. because I was like, well, what if something bad, what if something exactly yeah. right. Put it off until tomorrow or something. Yeah. And 
Um, now I didn't tell my wife immediately. I think I waited like a couple of days and then I was like, yeah, I think something's wrong. So she ended up taking him to the doctor and, um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, it turns out that he had, he had a, they, they didn't call it a lazy eye. It's a, it's a eye that shifts a little. Mm -hmm. And so they did some tests and they found, and they basically said that one of his eyes just a slightly bit weaker than the other one. So when he gets tired, it just tends to kind of drift a little bit. Um, so the good thing is that we caught it early and even now I didn't take him to the appointment. His, uh, his mom did, uh, but even she was saying that the doctor said, um, most of the time people don't find out until they're like in school, like mm -hmm. school age Yeah, that it's, they don't, they don't normally get kids that young yeah. going there because nobody really Right. No, it's not the car. They just don't. They, they, they don't. They, it doesn't look it. apparent enough. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, so, um, so what? So we the treatment that we have to do now is we have to put like a eye patch, mm -hmm. um, um, on his eye every day for two hours, and then hopefully, uh, you put it over the, you put it over the good eye. Yeah, so because the bad eye will then eventually start having to work twice as hard and it's like you strengthen the muscle yeah um and you know what could have happened had we not done that is eventually if worst comes to worst surgery is going to be involved they need to fix it and of course even worse than that he can eventually lose vision in one eye yeah and that's something obviously we don't want for him um but we already started treatment. We, you know, he wears an eye patch. He's really good about it. He, it's just part of his daily routine now. He gets yeah. a, the thing is, my wife is is pretty good about like getting him to do things, and she has a prize box for him, mm -hmm. so he gets like a little prize after each time, and it's now routine enough that he does it. Now we switch it every day from run one eye to the other one because now the other eye could possibly also start getting weaker because of that. So yeah. he's to switch, and we have follow ups appointments, but. Still, like, I really encourage people, uh, parents, to, if you really... Anything that looks off. Anything that looks off about your kid, you should probably go. And even if your pediatrician says, like, nothing to worry about, and you get still see it. Like, again, second opinion, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah there's nothing thing. wrong. Get a second opinion. Um, you know your kid the most. Yeah. Yeah, just remember that. And it's not downplaying to any pediatrician or anything, but, you know, it's, it's okay to just... I mean, I grew up not wanting to hear bad news, but you sometimes have to just do it before it gets worse. Yeah. And it's like a big thing that I always, I've, I've now been like, yeah, I always. I, bef before we end this, I think I'm just terrible with hospitals in general or doctors. And like, I think everybody has some sort of like level of like freak, freak out in this <laughs> that they don't want to see well, the doctor because I mean, bad news are going to be if you didn't, given. Yeah. I mean, if you, you didn't really go to doctors much growing up then it's no. always going to be yeah, yeah see i didn't yeah. either i didn't either so every time i go it's like fuck the only reason people go is because something's bad you know it's a mexican thing yeah, it's a mexican thing. <laughs> i remember we one time hospital. <laughs> yeah we have vix um we have vix vapor we went i went with my grandpa one time i i don't know if he just needed me as a translator or not but i was i was maybe 15 16 and yeah. he was just getting like a physical mm -hmm. and then they checked his heart mm-hmm and then he was just like sitting there and the doctor's like scanning his chest or whatever. And then you can see like, you, see you know, the little heart or whatever. And he's uh, have you ever had a heart attack? It's like, and I had to translate. He goes, no. Hmm. Might have had one. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, at a certain age, you know, you obviously you're more prone to more things. So. And he says he probably had it while he was like asleep and didn't really yeah. notice it, like small, minor, yeah. like minor one. And I'm like, that can happen? <laughs> what the? <f> <laughs> <laughs> he thought I thought it was gas. He's like, I ching out. Yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, he ate something or yeah. something like that. I'm like ah, <laughs> okay, we're good. Yeah, I ching out. Oh, okay, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we're good. Anyway, so I'm gonna end with. So every time I went, there was like. If it wasn't bad news, it was like a possibility of something worse, you know? That's why, nobody, like, wanted, that's, that's that's why nobody wanted to go. Yeah. You know? Or, or it'll pass. It'll I mean, pass. shit, even my dad sometimes, I'm like, you want to go check that out? He goes, nah, I'll just wait till it gets worse. Like, no. Yeah. Go now. <laughs> just Arms in case. half off like yeah, a zombie. Yeah, you know, he's like, yeah, I'm fine. 
So I can still move my pinky. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> as, long, as long as you a stop beer, he'll be fine, right? As, he's like, he's like he can't move anything but a pinky. As long as you have mobility, yeah. <laughs> still use it. You can still use it. Anyway, yeah. So that was my hospital <laughs> story. <laughs> Wear a damn mask. Yeah, I mean, come on, it's a mask. Yeah, it's not that bad. Is it this one? Cue the thing. There you go. And that was our. I love how we haven't changed that. No, I don't. I, I, don't, I don't think I, we, we should. Can keep that. Yeah, we're going to keep no, it now. It's fine. And just never change it. It's so manly, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Two dads. And, okay, here's. here. Let's, let's clear this up. This is not a manly show it by really any isn't. means. No. We're still trying to figure out what kind of show it is, but I mean, if <laughs> anything, two, it, like it's I said, it's a it's, just, it's it's a chat it's a amongst chat dads yeah. who want to clear the air about, or at least get some info. Maybe next time we'll do like what's nurse's elbow, what's you know, start looking. I mean, yeah, up. it's we just. It, I it's mean, just, we we try breaking barriers on what is a dad and what is like a man kind of thing, or at least look, we're definitely not manly guys, all right? No, no, <laughs> don't, no, 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 I'm not, no. But no. I'm, all I know is I'm a dad. All I know is that I'm a good dad, or at least try to be yeah. a good dad. Yeah. All right. See ya. All right.